the police and the judicial in Medellin, Colombia is still at it this year. Let's jump into this story. Follow along. You're watching DC Born Rob, Racing Borders. And now, news. Okay, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever it is you're located. Thanks for watching. You're watching DC Born Rob, Racing Borders, and my name is DC Rob. This is the channel for expats who live there and want English speaking news and visitors who are going there for safety tips and safety tips for all. But basically, I'm rereading some of the stories that I think you may be interested in. Instead of having to convert it on your own, I do it for you. Now, this is a, a good one again, because we talked about this, uh, what, over the past, I guess, month and two months, the police in Medellin, Colombia are doing their job. This one actually shows that the uh, judicial is also doing their job because this has actually seen the case through to the conviction. So these eight young ladies, uh, guys, you, you know, you get drunk. I'm telling you, you may not be able to tell you. I'm telling you one beer or one drink and you're not yourself. So imagine how much some of you guys drink and they just run up on you and, and probably even strong arm on you. This is going to be a quick story. It's only about a minute and a half to two minutes. I'll meet you on the other side. Eight women were sentenced for being part of a criminal network that robbed foreign citizens in Medellin. Seven trans women and one cisgender accepted that they formed a group to steal especially from foreign citizens in Medellin after the prosecutor's office presented the evidence collected in the investigation. For these facts, they accepted charges and were sentenced to sentences ranging between nine and 10 years in prison. Between October 4th, 2020 and March 21st, 2022, the captured women robbed at least 19 passers-by of the Zona Rosa in the El Poblado neighborhood, located in the south of Medellin. According to the investigation carried out by prosecutors from the Support Structure and Public Safety Unit, one of the women is a Venezuelan national and according to information from the prosecutor's office, she should be expelled from the country when she completes the sentence. The prosecutor's office charged the other women with charges such as use of minors for the commission of crimes, conspiracy to commit a crime, and qualified and aggravated theft. The investigation managed to establish that the defendants approached the victims to, supposedly, offer them sexual services. At that time, he blocked their way and through different distractions they seized their cell phones and other belongings. The prosecutor's office also has evidence that minors participated in several of the events. Yo, I Okay, so there you go. Again, thanks to everybody who has donated to the channel. I really, really, really appreciate it. Even $1 is like 200 viewers on here. They actually flagged my video yesterday, of course. They may flag it today again, which means when they do that, let me explain what happens. They give me this yellow check. Now, I can decide to say, uh, let the commercial still run, in which case I get, I don't know, 10% of that penny um, and share it with, I don't know. They, they say it's, I'm only getting the funds from those who are YouTube members like me. I pay like $15, $16. I've done a video on that in the, in the past too, the benefits of it. I pay not to watch commercials. I'm not going to sit here and watch commercials. So since I know that they're going to flag the video anyway, and I'm barely going to get a percentage of that, of those pennies, I go ahead and just remove the commercials. Why make you sit through it in, in that case if I'm not even going to get the small percentage from it? So it's really appreciated when you guys do support the channel. Much appreciation. I can't tell you enough. But back to the story, um, I wonder how many guys who are watching right now or who watch my videos are in this collective of the guys who got got by these chicks. And I say chicks loosely, as you can see, they weren't chicks at all. They weren't females at all. I don't know why they keep saying women in the story. It was, as I redid this, I was like, man, this is, why you keep calling them girls? I mean, women. But anyway, so it's easy to get got. They're good at their job. I think I'm good at my job and I'm in sales. So I asked myself, Rob, are you good at your job? Yes, absolutely. absolutely. Yes. Oh, of course. Of course. I think we all agree. Yes. Positively. Yes. We all yes. are going mm -hmm. to say yes, 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 yes. yes. That's right. I think I'm good at my job. Anybody who does something repetitive, you know, in certain situations, in certain instances, I say the same thing. You know, the basic introduction, I say the same elevator pitch all the time. So I've gotten good at it over, what, 12, 13 years. These girl guys 
And all the girls down there anyway, they're all good at what they do. This is what they do for a living. This is their job. They have perfected it. They can point out that one right there. He had a drink. Did you see that guy fall off the curb? And they'll run up on you. How many of you guys are missing a cell phone from somebody who pickpocketed you? I know some of you because you've actually told me that it happened to you. But did you know it was one of these girl guys? Did you know who it was? Anyway, the... They are good at what they do. Anybody who does something repetitively, I mean, they are good at what they do. They eventually figure stuff out. Just like I said before, guys in prison, why do you think they come up with some of the the slick things that they come up with to work around the system? Because they got time. They got time to figure out, okay, the guard is over here between this and that. We need to grab the coffee and the sugar between that. I mean, anybody with time on their hands, especially a group of individuals who are working as a collective, it's easy to get got. I'm, I'm just saying it's easy to get got. Somebody's going to comment here. Well, they ain't getting me. Ain't nobody getting me. This is what you need to do. You need to put your wallet over here. You need to have a fake credit card. You need to do. I'm telling you, these girls are good at what they do. They know where you put your stuff. They know where some of you put your stuff. I mean, they they take the low hanging fruit, of course. There's somebody with money in their pocket and a cell phone on their hip or in their pocket. I mean, that's going to be the, the easy one. So yeah, a lot of these things do work when you do due diligence and have that fake credit card and stash your money and things like that. Obviously, that's going to work like 90% of the time. But they are good is what I'm trying to say. They are good at what they do and they will get a selective few of you guys. Okay, still do that stuff. Still do that stuff, you know, hide your stuff. And somebody emailed me yesterday or commented yesterday, a long comment about he had this situation and and he stashed his stuff away in his apartment. First of all, I don't know how y'all bring somebody in your apartment or your hotel. I, I would never. I mean, unless you have somebody sitting downstairs waiting on you or outside the door waiting on you, and you taking chances. And, and that person didn't have anything to drink either. Um, by the way, I am working on security. The price is not going to be low, though. So for cheap guys, you're not going to bite. I, I get that. You guys don't want to spend any money on that, on your security. I get that. But for those who do, they'll be armed and you can choose between English speaking and not. Obviously, it's going to cost more if they uh, speak English. Also, an armored car, meaning, well, a car that they're going to drive. You pay for the gas and the tolls. They'll even pick you up from the airport if you need uh, need to. But if you have to go into a neighborhood that you're not familiar with, they'll be good for that. And also, I'm trying to work it so that a percentage of those proceeds go to the children that have been abused in Medellin, Colombia. And I know someone now that works for the mayor's office, so she's going to help me with that. Anyway, let's see what we can do to help. Instead of just taking, 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 let's give something back and leave something there. Um, just like my charity. If you don't, if you haven't been watching me long enough, uh, Comuna Ocho, the El Faro neighborhood, and those kids are my charity in Medellin, Colombia via Nomad Travel, Andres, who is my guide, and he's my guide for tours. Tours, tours, tours. You guys need to take some of these tours. Just don't hang in yet. I mean, now look, I mean, it is not the same as it was years ago. Anyway, guys, be safe wherever you are. I want you to travel, <laughs> but travel safe. Yo, I heard she ready to go. Want to keep the same energy after the show. Hey, yo, I heard she ready to go. Headed to Medellin, Colombia. See my guy Andres with Nomad Travel for safe airport pickups and drop-offs and tours. Contact information in the description below. If you're in Medellin and you need dental work done, from a basic cleaning to major reconstructive surgery, come see my guy, Dr. Carlos Mori. Contact information in the description below.